Hi Shoebox friends, welcome back. This is Denise from D. Rogers. I have missed you guys, but I had a nice holiday and I am ready to start packing my shoeboxes for 2022. Today I went on a trip to two Dollar Trees and two Walmarts and I'm going to show you what I can find. The pickings are a little slim, but if you're going to go, I would suggest you go right away and uh, hope that your store still has some items that you might be able to choose from. So one of my first trips was to the Dollar Tree and I'm going to show you first the new items that I found at Dollar Tree. So my favorite items are about these Valentine's Day stuffies that they are starting to put out. They are two in a pack and I love these particularly for some pencil packs to stick something soft in there. They come in a monkey, a puppy dog, Um, a frog and it says forever friends and a raccoon that says you and me but you know I have separated these and just sent, sent them separately I've also tucked these in a shoebox when I just needed a small stuffy so I was very excited to see those they did have some Christmas ones this year as well but I love the Valentine's Day ones they have a lot of new stuffies at my Dollar Tree for Valentine's Day. They've already started putting them out. I will drop in a picture of all that I saw. And I do think their quality has stepped up a bit at Dollar Tree for their stuffed animals, which is a good thing because stuffed animals seem to be hard to find these days. But I found this cute little heart stuffy for a dollar at my Dollar Tree. And my Dollar Trees are still a dollar. And I love this for an older girl to um, slide in for something soft. I also found these new little stuffies and this I was excited about this because I'm doing a Ryan's World box and these are two characters from Ryan's World. They also had um, Blue's Clues, Superman, Wonder Woman, Spongebob, and the Panda to Ryan's World. I will also drop in a picture of those. So I was excited to see those. Those were new. They had these new bouncy balls. I only picked up one. This is a pink one. And I will drop in a picture of what they look like. They seem pretty sturdy. I mean, it is only one for a dollar. I have gotten balls before at Dollar Tree three for a dollar, but I really liked the color of this. Uh, it sparkles. So I did pick up one. They have these um, sensory toys again. These are called sensory pop tubes. These are the, not the same um, vendor as before, but the same product, only these are in blue and red. I got a couple of those. I found a pretty new book that says I Love Colors. And every heart has a different animal and a different color. So very pretty. And I found at the Dollar Tree, I don't know if it's good quality, I'm going to try it, I'll let you know, is a glue gun for a dollar. That's kind of hard to beat. So I will give it a shot. I couldn't believe that it was only a dollar. I picked up these party favors. These are the hearts that I like to put in little uh, heart containers and little surprises in other um, pencil filler bags and things like that. So I picked up a package of those and some gift bags. The Valentine's gift bags are out. They have smaller ones and I just picked up uh, the two pack larger ones. These are nine inch by seven inch. And then finally another new item. It's not a new item but it was new for me. I picked up some shower curtain rings I'm going to use for um, some ribbon. Um, the, the ribbons where you attach ribbons to the rings and I got a huge bag of ribbon from Michaels on clearance and I was excited. I made some others already but I'm going to make these using these as well. And when I'm done I'll try to show you what one looks like. Okay that's all the new items I got. Now let's sh let me show you what I got that was on clearance 50% off for Christmas. Okay they have some new stuffed animals that I love. The quality is really nice. They're really soft. They're called Fuzzy Friends. It comes in a dinosaur, a narwhal, and I'll drop in a picture. I think it's a hedgehog and a unicorn. 
very nice quality. I really like them for a dollar. Can't go wrong. I also picked up some of these ponytail holders. I really like these. Um, I'm trying to make some um, bows this year uh, and do a little more crafting, and these are perfect for that. So I picked up two of those. These are a restock item, five in a package. This one is Coast Guard, and this one is Wizards, but they don't really look like wizards. None of them look like mean characters or anything like that. And when you can get five in a pack, that's a great deal. I like to make Lego sets with these. And I found a new Hot Wheels book called Shark Attack. And To the Extreme, another Hot Wheels book. I'm always looking for books for the boys. And I think these were great. Some of the pictures. I did manage to get a few things for Operation Christmas Child and a few things for my own personal use. So let me share with you what I found. Uh, these cards were 50 cents. Let Heaven and Nature Sing. It's really pretty and all is calm, all is bright. I'm actually going to use those in a shoebox. I found some gift tags for my personal use. These are little rockets. I thought those were cute and these are ornaments. I found a Jingle Bell bracelet, only one, that was 50 cents. I found a two-piece gift sack. I did use these this year, I really liked them, so I picked up one. I found a few coloring books, I only got two, there were more, they were 50 cents. I got Colortivity Christmas Cheer and Santa's Helper for my elf box. I found a book called Santa and the Sleigh for 50 cents. Really nice pictures. I did pick up two of the elf dolls. They were 50 cents each. One store had a ton of these, but the other store um, did not. But I was happy to find those and I found one of the little nice, I think these are really nice quality plush, little elf for 50 cents. Then I got these, um, they're called doorknob hangers. And they have bells on them. I'm not sure how I'm gonna use them, but I'm thinking of um, repurposing these to make the ribbon, um, dancer ribbons. And I'm not sure how I'm gonna use the bells, but I got a few of them, so I'm gonna get creative with that. And then I got a bunch of these tins that say Gnome for the Holidays. I'm going to make some filler for the Processing Center. I found a cute little Santa snowman gift box. And these little cookie, um, not they're not tins, but containers. I used them this year. They're just the right size to give a small gift cookie of cookies or treats to your favorite person. So that's all I found. Christmas items at the Dollar Tree. Couldn't find any wrapping paper, no pencils, um, but I was happy with what I purchased. So let me share with you what I found at Walmart. Okay, this is my Walmart haul, and I'm gonna try my best to let you know what I paid for each item and try to give you a few tips on how I found some of these items. Again, um, the stores are slim, so if you get out there today, that would be best. Um, I don't usually purchase at 50%, I usually wait. But with the supply chain being so weak and not many uh, stores have as much merchandise as in the past, I have had to break down and purchase at 50% off for my boxes. I'm sure God will provide in many other ways this year, so I'm not um, too sad. <laughs> I'm trying to be positive. So let's take a look at what I did find. They have these Disney Princess Magnetic Dolls. They don't even look like Christmas to me. Let's see if you can see that without the glare. They're $4.98 and they were located in the Christmas area. This one looks a little more Christmas to me. This is Mickey. These were originally $4.98 and they rang up $2.49. And they're really nice. They come with all these little pieces and it's like a travel, um, a travel tin. I found some coloring activity books. I don't usually spend this much on them, but I broke down a little bit. This is Frozen, and this is Minnie. It comes with four crayons, 
and stickers, which were really nice. That's how I justified it, I guess. And the pages are nice and um, like white pages, very, you know, nice and clear. So I really liked them. They were $1.99, normally $3.98, and I found these in the book section. So make sure to check out books. The Christmas books are also on sale. I did not need any, but they are, whoops, 50% off. Okay, this is actually a dog toy. So if you are desperate for stuffies, I mean, I think these are a great sensory item for a young child. It has a squeaky. Now this one doesn't have the crinkle. Another one I had had the crinkly in it. But it's a cute little reindeer, and I'm doing a buffalo plaid box, actually two of them, and I thought that this might work for that. So this was originally $2.97, and so it was on sale for like $1.49. So that was in the pet department. I was really excited about all these music makers. Uh, I missed out on these in the past, and I would have waited for these to go on deeper clearance, but I didn't want to miss out, so I got them. This is a tambourine, originally $1.98, so these were all 99 cents. This is like a rattle. These are called ball catches or kendamos, I think that's how you say it, where you throw the ball up and you catch it. I think these are great um, for any age, actually, but more, I think, for the older boys. It came in red and green. And then they also had the same type of thing as the tambourines, only it's jingle bells. And then I found, and these are really, these are better quality than the Dollar Tree. They were 99 cents, some wrist bells. And I really liked blue, I hadn't seen blue before, so I got quite a few of those. So those were my musical instruments that I found. And yeah, I found most of these in the outdoor section of Walmart, in the garden center. And they were just sitting in a big box in both stores. I found a few pair of slippers. This is actually for my oldest daughter, little reindeer slippers. Okay, these were $2.48. So I got a reindeer and I also found a stitch slipper sock because I'm doing a stitch box. And these were $2.48. I found some cutlery. I used these this year. I got them for next year, so they were 99 cents. I found some gift wrap tissue. Originally $2.98, so it was like $1.49. I got a couple rolls of wrapping paper. I found the, this, it's called Three Ornaments, and it's like a garland of three teddy bears. I'm actually gonna use this as a stuffy in my pencil packs. So that was on clearance for, I think, $2.50. These light-up accessories. I've gotten these in the past much cheaper, but I broke down and bought two of the bears. Originally $1.98, so they were $0.99. Cents. I found a few ink pens. They were $0.49. Cents. Some bouncy balls for $0.99. Cents. A stationery set for 49 cents. A few of these stacking crayons for 99 cents. And some of these colored pencils where they, the ends of the pencils are different colors. And this was 49 cents. I got some spa footies. These are for my older girls for their stockings for next year. And I don't remember the price, but I will put it in there for you. I found some soft balls. They're originally $1.98 and I got those for 99 cents. There was a SpongeBob play pack. That was 67 cents. Some game tablets that were 98 cents. So I got them for like 49 cents. I actually think I'm gonna use these in some of my pencil packs. And a Sudoku book for my daughter's stocking for next year. I found this magnetic pocket game. Again, I didn't know it was Christmas, but I saw a little snowman on it. So look for things that, you know, might look like Christmas. A Christmas symbol, 
they were red and green. Um, also this tag, this particular tag that says holiday time, anything with holiday time on it is Christmas. So look for big bins in the middle of your store or at the front of the store. Anyway, this was $2.98 and I got it for $1.49. That was really nice. I found a hair care set. It has two brushes, ponytail holders, and a mirror, which obviously I can't send, but it was $2.50. I'm not a super price, but it, it did include the ponytail holders, so a um, dollar a brush plus maybe 50 cents for the ponytail holders. This was in the gift department in near Christmas. I also found the nostalgic wooden games, which I have used in the past. It comes with these little pegs and the board. It's two games. And this is the tic-tac-toe game. So very easy to slip into a shoebox. And my final item to show you is I randomly found a Mandalorian backpack for $2.50. Um, it was just near the backpacks sitting out. I decided to scan it originally $9.96 and that's the UPC. So that's my, um, that's my haul. Oh, I forgot to show you these. These are mix and match bath foam animals. This was actually in the gift section near Christmas items. There's one that's for animals and one for sea creatures. And I paid $2.49 for each. I'm actually going to separate these into two different kits and make bags because they can play with this like a puzzle to mix and match and just play with the foam characters. And I'm going to make a drawstring bag for those. So that's my haul for Walmart. I hope you are able to get out and find something. Um, I'm going to try again probably tomorrow. I might hit Dollar General and Target. I'll let you know. But that was my Walmart and Dollar Tree visits for today. And today is Friday, December 26, 2021. So thanks. It's good to see you. Well, I can't see you, but <laughs> it's good to be back. And I look forward to um, some more hauls and future unboxings. So God bless you, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.